What's going on everyone? It's Justin here and it's the start of 2023 and we've been working on something for the last few months and I'm finally ready to announce it. So if you guys have been watching the channel for the past couple years, you might have seen that we purchased this office space a couple years ago, did a full renovation and it was kind of like our headquarters where we filmed a lot of the videos over the years. But we've come to the point where we've needed a lot more space when it comes to production and so naturally we were kind of limited by the number of sets in this office. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys our new headquarters, which is over 3,500 square feet of dedicated filming office space. Over the years, my set has definitely evolved quite a bit. I started out by making videos in my bedroom at my parents' house, and eventually I moved over to the study room next to it, built a big desk setup, filmed quite a few videos there for a few years. And then from there, I rented a room in my parents' basement and built one of my favorite sets of all time. But with any business, you have to continue to expand and grow. And so when I moved into my first condo, I turned that room into a home office. And eventually as a channel and company continued to grow, we purchased this office space, which has been a really good investment and I still plan to keep it. But this next step is really going to be the home for the next few years where we're able to set up dedicated video filming areas. So I'm really excited to construct and build the state of the art facility where we have all the different tech elements that make filming and everything very streamlined but also look incredible on camera. And I want to give a huge thanks to Roborock for sponsoring this video. On the channel, you guys know that we check out a lot of consumer tech products as well as more specifically home tech products. And today we have the ultimate one in front of us. It is the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra robot vacuum that features a whole suite of crazy features that I'm going to be highlighting, including the mopping capabilities, the auto bin emptying, as well as just a whole bunch of crazy AI technology, as well as sensors that make it the ultimate product that is able to take care of essentially your entire home. But I've had a lot of experience with their products over the years, including previous generations, such as their original models, back when I was still making videos in my parents' basement and having that really messy office, to when I moved out on my own, it was actually one of the first products that I featured and integrated in my condo that I'm sitting in right now, before eventually also checking out some of the products for the office, and now we've expanded to another property as well as our larger office, which actually works very well with the Roborock because it is over 3,000 square feet in space. And the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra is able to cover over 3,200 square foot in one go. So when it comes to different methods of vacuuming, it is really nice to have a cordless vacuum, of course. But in terms of general upkeep, you guys might know I travel a ton. I believe I was away for over 100 days last year. And so whenever I come back home, I've got a really busy schedule when it comes to work and everything. And so the last thing I really think about is upkeeping my house. Admittingly, my place is super messy outside of the areas that you guys see filmed in the videos. And when it comes to vacuuming and mopping, it is really just something that is on the fly. And so having a product like the Roborock is able to set specific schedules that not only ensures everything is nice and clean, but also a system is in place whenever I come home. Some of the different surfaces in my place include a floor as well as tile in the bathroom and also carpet. And all these have different characteristics as to how they should be cleaned. With hardwood floor, we usually wear our shoes around. So having the mop function is great, but also the suction power to be able to clean. And most importantly, the necessary sensors that they're able to see objects such as cables and different products that are all over the house to avoid getting stuck when it is operating on its own. So when it comes to looking at the Roborock lineup over the years and how it has progressed, it is really nice to see them integrate and also improve on features that I've already been working on as well as what consumers are looking for. Fundamentally, when robot vacuums first came out, there weren't many offerings on the market and the industry almost became a bit complacent. I remember seeing like the Roombas and the iRobots at Costco, for example, that were very expensive but didn't exactly have a ton of features within. And it wasn't until companies like Roborock came along that we started to see a lot of different features integrated, such as the ability to avoid objects, set different zones more effectively, as well as utilize sensor technology to be able to identify multiple items. At CES this year, Roborock also introduced their S8 lineup, which continued to improve on those technologies. But specifically with the S7 lineup that I have right here, here are some of the features to note and just how good it works. 
It not only has great cleaning technology, but you can see it also has a clean water tank and a dirty water tank. So it's not only able to clean the mop and replenish it, but at the same time, it can also empty out the tank inside. And so for many weeks in a row, you don't actually have to do anything. It is completely hands off experience and it will return to the station for supplies and emptying when it needs it, along with the charging. When it comes to the cleaning itself, it features 5100 PA in suction power. And when it comes to carpet, it is able to provide the suction and give it that deep cleaning experience that is really important, especially when we're tracking a bunch of dirt in a shoes on environment. The mop is definitely a feature that I really enjoy because with hardwood floors, of course, you need to kind of have that two step process. And so it's able to vacuum and mop at the same time. It was really nice to initially see mops integrated in robot vacuums, but fundamentally they started out quite simple. You just went ahead and filled up the canister in the robot vacuum and eventually you would have to swap that water out after every use and they didn't really move or agitate the floor as it was moving along. But nowadays with something like the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra, instead of having to change the water by yourself every time, it goes back to its station takes out the water that is dirty and then replaces it with the clean water while ensuring the mop is nice and clean and ready for its next session. Having the dustbin emptying is also another great feature because even though it isn't a huge inconvenience to have to replace the bin, the robot vacuum is only so large and so pretty much every time and sometimes even during the cleaning session, you'd have to actually emptying it out before sending it on its way and it kind of takes an element of the automation out of the experience. The app itself is also very intuitive and does an excellent job of mapping different areas of the house and allowing you to set different zones. So perhaps you're at one side of the house and you don't want it to get in the way. You could also set different schedules, update the firmware and monitor all the supply levels for when you do actually have to go and empty the tank and switch out the water once every few weeks. Over the years, Roborock continues to improve the product, the technology, and innovating for the needs of users, whether it comes to LiDAR navigation and reactive AI algorithms, the vacuum and mop technology when it comes to suction and also the brushes, and also charging and environmental features such as off-peak charging, where you're able to tell it to actually charge at different times of day to be able to conserve. With this model that we've been able to test out for the last couple weeks, it literally has every single feature that you could imagine in the ultimate robot vacuum. Yes, it is expensive and it comes in at a premium price point, but it is like the cream of the crop when it comes to the best offering with all of the up-to-date features that you're going to find in this industry today. So for our new office, this is definitely something that we're going to be using because there's carpet tile, there's us walking in and out all day, a bunch of boxes and making a bit of a mess as well as a ton of laminate flooring. And so being able to ensure that it is nice and clean, especially on the off hours in the evening is really important. So we can come back to a nice clean space to focus on work every day. As I mentioned with the place being over 3000 square feet, this is one that is able to handle the size and surface area, but even in like a condo or a house situation, the algorithms that are built in and the app optimization makes it very easy to set specific schedules and zones that best suit your routine. If you guys want to go ahead and check it out for yourself, I'm going to drop a link down below. Here's a bit of a quick preview of this new office for you guys to see, which I'm going to be posting more about in the next couple months. So now we're at the office space and I'm going to explain to you the layout and I guess the intention of each room in the very preliminary stage. You can probably tell it is completely empty at the moment and we just finished up replacing the floors, doing a little bit of paint and of course we still have to set up all the different rooms and the furniture but this office is essentially 10 different rooms. It was originally an accounting studio or like a lawyer's office and so all the rooms were already very well laid out to give us evenly distributed sets that we could put desk setups, living rooms and now we're starting in the front of the place which is actually going to be the living room set. I absolutely love these kind of retro style windows with the natural light just coming through and especially on a sunny day I think this will be a really good backdrop but traditionally when it comes to filming sets I like to have as much natural light as possible but the reality is you can't always rely on that because weather conditions and time of day can definitely have an impact so having as many fixed sets as possible was really important. So the this office has two rooms that are really reliant on natural light, which is one right here. And on a good day, it looks incredible. I love these like retro doors. They've been painted in a contrasting color and we're gonna be putting the living room set 
right here with a frame TV just to have some art on the wall and use it as a set that we can go to whenever the lighting is good. But on the other hand, as you're going to see, each room is actually going to be isolatable where each room could actually have fixed lighting and we can film at any time and ensure there's a good level of consistency when it comes to the look. It's been really exciting checking out the Roborock lineup over the years as it continues to progress. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.